Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here off of 12th Street in Las Vegas, just north of Bonanza. We're making a U-turn and heading back northbound. I want to show you some of these apartment buildings that line up just east of Harrow, uh, Maryland Parkway here. Folks outside enjoying the uh, cloudy skies. So we come up here to Wilson Avenue. A tagged up dumpster there. And that is going to bring us over here to Maryland Parkway, directly in front of us. We're going to proceed westbound across Maryland Parkway. Over here to 11th Street. And we'll make a right. And before we do that, I'll just show you some of the apartment buildings over here, off of 11th and Wilson. Bars on windows and doors in here. This house looks like it's been boarded up, but it looks like there might be people in there. to Harris Avenue where we will make a left onto Harris. Alley down that way. Looks like an electrical panel may have been on fire at one time. All sorts of debris in the roadway here. us up here to 9th Street, it looks like. Is this the Neon Museum? I believe this is the Neon Museum here right in front of me, if memory serves. And Canto Drive. And show you the artwork here on the uh, side of the Neon Museum. Right here. There's the old hard rock uh, guitar. So this is the back of the uh, Neon Museum. Its frontage is on Las Vegas Boulevard. So they have parking back here, three hour parking it says, 8A to midnight for folks looking to come over here and take a look at the Neon Museum. Right here on this road here, Encanto. Encanto. Enchanted, I believe, is what it means in Spanish, if memory serves. We're going to take this out to Las Vegas Boulevard, which becomes the Las Vegas Strip, but not in this part of town. Bow and Arrow Motel, no vacancy. TV there on the left, and then you see, and they say they're moving the uh, Neon Museum, actually. Boneyard Park, it says here. They say they're moving it up to uh, the Arts District, which is uh, probably about a mile and a half, two miles south of here. Temperature out there says 94 degrees. City of Las Vegas Department of Public Safety and Human Resources right there. We're going to go ahead and uh, yeah, these guys, they just fly around you. They, they don't, no signal, no nothing. Going to make a left here on the Washington. Wow. And we'll wait for our turn. Got the green light here at Washington, so we're going to make a left make a westbound on Washington. This is 4th Street. We'll make a right here on the 4th Street. Show you 4th Street. Which brings us up to Adams. 
West Care. Not sure what they do in there on the left. This is a dead end here. in here seems pretty quiet this is up on North 4th Street the end of 4th Street we'll uh, make a left here onto Adams More tagging of buildings there. Not sure what he's running for, maybe the bus. I didn't see a bus, but maybe there was one. Oh yeah, there it is. This is Las Vegas Boulevard North once more. You've got a uh, cemetery over here off to your right. As well as one over here off to your left. Ice Cream Factory Outlet Store here on our right. And then Four Master Lane, which they have closed, and we've talked about that. We have that, we've had a few, a few viewers come in and comment about how they've closed Four, uh, Four Master and why they did it, etc. Looks like the gate's open there, though. It might be around dinner time for them, so... Uh, there, but there's probably a big crowd in there for the, the charity groups in there, that are in there. We're going to make this left here onto Owens Avenue, another major east-west artery here in Las Vegas. And we will make another left here onto Main Street. Show you Main Street, Las Vegas. Which is mostly empty right now, but that's again because this is this is uh, dinner time. And they have the Catholic Charities out here along with some other charities uh, offering food, etc. Let me see if I'm gonna be allowed to turn down Foremaster here. And I'm not they've got but you could see all of the folks in there lining the street in there waiting for food we'll continue southbound here on Main Street mortuary here Palm downtown mortuary we have the Paiute Indian Reservation here off to your right, right here. Very small little Indian Reservation. Eighty-one ninety-five for Winston carton of cigarettes. Cool cigarettes are $92. Wow. For a carton. I'm going to go up here to Washington real quick and make a right. Looks like the cow got up a new LED sign there, right in front of us. And we'll go ahead and make our turn. We have the uh, railroad line going overhead here. Go ahead, we'll get over here and make a left onto A Street. We've been there a few times. Just want to take a look and see what's going on down here on A for Alpha. Got a few folks over here. And it uh, looks like they've been playing with paint cans or something. Up on that wall. But otherwise, nothing much to see in here. We're going to go down on the other side, though. Cleaning Company right here and this is still a street 
A lot of unhoused, unsheltered, homeless folks in here. You can see them here on the uh, left side. And that's Interstate uh, 15 right there off to our left. Major North-South Interstate Highway here in the uh, Western United States. Traveling all the way from northeast to San Diego and east of LA, all the way up to the Can Canadian border in Montana. And this is a very industrial area in here. I'm looking at you, 7-Eleven man. Got some trucking companies in here, and I think there's like a, uh, a tow yard in here too. If memory serves. And this will bring us back up here to Owens. Someone there on our right. We'll make a right here. Proceed eastbound for a moment on Owens. Some police activity up here on our right. This is the Salvation Army right here on our right as well. They do a lot of feedings and uh, community care, things like that. circle back here and come back down Main Street once more. I'm going to show you that, that all of this goes on just mere steps from Fremont Street and the Fremont Street experience here in downtown Las Vegas. down there. Mercifully, it is cloudy, so that's good for a lot of the folks out here because this summer sun is nothing to play with here in Las Vegas. It may be a dry heat, but it's a still a hot heat no matter what. It is brutal. With the humidity, at least you get, you know, maybe you get a layer of sweat on you or whatever. Here, the sweat gets wicked away from you in a hurry. We'll sit here at Washington and wait for our turn. Washington Avenue. Got the green light here at Washington, so we'll proceed southbound here on Main Street and show you just how close this area is to Fremont Street. And you get a lot of folks that uh, come from this area down to Fremont Street. They have the street performers that uh, perform down here on Fremont as well. They, um, those folks, sorry about that. Those folks, um, I think there's 38 circles that they have. The state, or the state, the city runs a lottery for them where they can win space at that, uh, one of the 38 spaces located along Fremont Street, the Fremont Street experience the walk underneath the canopy there. We've seen in some previous videos of ours where the uh, marshal, Las Vegas marshal's office comes around and checks off, make sure that the people performing there in a circle are in fact supposed to be there. This is Stewart Avenue here in Main Street Station right off to our right. So as soon as you get underneath the uh, Interstate 11 slash US 95 slash US 93 overpass there, that we just went under, it's Fremont Street. So here we are. We'll wait for our turn. 
here is the Western Terminus of Stewart Avenue, which we just got now, the green. So we'll go up here and make a left at Ogden. There's the parking garage for Circa. You have to take the uh, pedestrian walkway you see covering the roadway there over to Circa. Actually, I'm mistaken. I need to go up one more block. Oh, nice Corvette in front of us here. Downtown's only bingo third floor there at the plaza. Plaza Hotel and Fremont Street Experience here off to our left. It's looking pretty crowded. We're going to make a left here down Carson Avenue, which is where I meant to, I thought we were turning before. And that brings us into the Golden Nuggets property here. On a Saturday night, you got a couple of metro units in there, in their valet. Not sure if there's anything going on in there. Southbound here on First Street. And uh, here on a Saturday night, show you the price to park right there, here at Golden Nugget. If I can get past that sign right there, it says right there $50 for 24 hours. Just wow. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about that $50 to park down here at Golden Nugget on the weekend. I'd be interested in learning your, your thoughts in the comments. Taxi just blew a red light. We're gonna go ahead and make this left here onto Bridger Avenue. Wait for our turn here. And proceed eastbound now on Bridger just a block south of the Fremont Street Experience. We're gonna go ahead and clear that intersection there. That was a very quick red light. This is 3rd Street here. Fourth Street. They have uh, stages located at the west end of Fremont Street as well as 3rd Street and 1st Street. And that's where you'll find the, uh, the bands performing, typically in the evenings and at night here at Fremont Street. The casinos got together and uh, they um, coordinate bringing folks in. They had Sebastian Bach here, what was that last month, or the month before? And they, had, uh, they have Sublime coming here, that's gonna be a good one. They also have Rick Springfield coming, age 75 years old. He's gonna be coming here to uh, Fremont in a few months. I'm actually gonna make a U-turn right here. Because I missed, I missed another turn. Go back here and make a right now onto 4th Street. in here, probably looking to park. Parking down here has gotten pretty crazy. The entrance to the Fremont Street Experience parking is right here in front of us on the right and you can see it's a very popular spot to park. It's not 50 bucks it's 25. <laughs> 25 bucks to park in here. Credit, debit cards only, of course. Flat rate. But it's certainly half off what we saw over at Golden Nugget, so. We're gonna come down here and take some video of the uh, Fremont Street experience and the folks walking around and all that. To 
Ocean Lanes, it says there. And I've got this car kind of blocking me here. I don't want to hit him, so I'll sit here and wait. Because I've got a truck right behind me, or a Suburban or something. Credit card only. No cash accepted. Uh, insert credit card. Okie dokie. Uh, sorry, my window doesn't roll down. It, okay, cool. And then I just scan the card when I go to the exit? Yeah, you just scan it at the exit. Okay, cool. Thank you. Alright, so, 25 bucks to park. How about that? We will just probably go straight to the top. Probably be easiest to do that. These spots here are by permit only, it says. Someone's horn goes off. Or alarm, I should say. This looks like a nice little spot right here, actually. So we'll go ahead and pull in right here. Okay. While we do that, we're joining us. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. And always remember, Please always remember that uh, it's the journey here on the Vegas Don channel. Thank you for cruising with us. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. It helps the, it helps the alg algorithm and helps the channel through the algorithm. So uh, please uh, add some weight to your voices if you like, follow, and subscribe. And also uh, the, check out the Vegas Don gear available on the shop section of the Vegas Don channel. We have it available um, in shirts, warm weather, cold weather gear, and uh, etc. So hopefully you find something in there for yourself or your significant other. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for being here.